Greetings YouTube, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Simon here bringing you yet another Final Fantasy VIII video guide. And today we're going to be starting the process of making sure that we have all of the ingredients necessary to create a fantastic and coveted Guardian Force known as Doom Train. Now we won't be able to complete the process in this episode as the final item that we need does not become available until later on. But all of the heavy lifting can be done at this point. I'm currently just at the start of this three. So, as always, a huge thank you to those who support the channel as YouTube members or patrons. Now, today we're going to be making sure that we have six steel pipes, six remedy pluses. Notice that that is not six remedies. Remedy plus are different items. And six Marlboro tentacles, which are arguably the most frustrating of all. Now, when we have all of those items, we're only going to require one more thing, which, as I say, we'll be able to get a little bit later on. So, first of all, we're going to be collecting these steel pipes. Six of those are required and there are multiple ways to get them and I'm going to go through those with you so that you can choose which method you want to use in order to get them. Now we are going to head over to the area where Galbadir Garden is close by and also near Dolit and the reason for that is there's a little forest that we passed through earlier on on disc one. You might remember if you were farming the ingredients for the uh, disc one Lionheart that this is where we fought the Grendel enemies. Well, the same, I'll show you where that is on the map. The same forest also contains an enemy type known as the Wendigo. Indeed, you might have already discovered it previously. They're going to be our friends. Now, before you encounter a Wendigo, make sure you have the Mug um, ability equipped. And that's because these guys have the steel pipes. They can literally be stolen from them. One thing to note is that they can actually uh, have steel pipes on them at any level for you to steal. But the higher their level, the more you will be able to steal. In fact, when these guys are level 30 plus, you can steal four at a single turn. So it is really worth doing. There we go, look, four steel pipes. And because I'm playing a low level game, I am of course going to carve this enemy as opposed to killing it normally. That way we'll avoid any kind of experience gain, which is pretty much what we want. Uh, the Wendigo card is a bonus. So you can farm... Six steel pipes very easily this way. In fact, two Wendigos will be more than sufficient for you to get all of the ones that you require. Alternatively, if killing Wendigos doesn't sound like your idea of fun, then you can actually use the card mod method as well. If we go to ability card mod here, all you require are the elastoid cards. And as you can see, each of these will refine into a single steel pipe. So you only have to refine six. And there you'll have your six steel pipes. Since I just stole some, I don't even need to do that many. I only need to refine two. Now, if you're not really into Triple Triad, if you haven't been doing much of the card game, then the Wendigo method is far superior. But if you have, then it's clearly um, best to just check your card log first. You might already have enough to refine six steel pipes right from the get-go. The second ingredient that we're going to be collecting are Remedy Pluses and these are very easy so long as you have the uh, pre-prep work all done. First of all, uh, you're going to require the Alexander Guardian Force and with the Alexander Guardian Force, you're going to require the Med Level Up ability since this levels up medicine. Now, if you're unable to learn this ability, it's because you first need to have learned the Med Data ability. So learn this and then learn med level up. Don't forget, if you ever need to learn up Guardian Force abilities quickly, you can just kill Cactuars in the desert. They give you 20 AP every time you kill one, and you can have up to four per battle. Very fast way of leveling your Guardian Forces. Now, once you've got the Alexander um, ability med level up, I strongly advise just using Tombri at this point uh, for the shop abilities. So call shop in particular will allow you to call the shop without having to visit one. Uh, but also you can use the familiar. Not sure if remedy can be purchased from the shops without familiar learned. But either case you'll want to learn it anyway. And once you have those abilities all you need to do is head to any shop through the uh, ability screen. And then let's say for example we go to the Balam shop. We can then just go ahead and purchase remedies. Now I already have 100 in my case since I purchased them prior to making this video. But as you can see they're very cheap. Now all we need to do once we purchase the remedies is head back to the ability menu. And use the medicine level up uh, from Alexander. And remedies will transfer into remedy pluses at a rate of 10 to 1. Now seeing as how we need 6 remedy plus we are going to require 60 remedies. 
And there we have it. We have our six remedy plus, as simple as that. Now, if you don't have enough Marlboro tentacles, these can unfortunately be the most awkward of the three ingredients to get. First of all, it's worth mentioning, since if you've been playing a fair bit of Triple Triad, you might be able to do this without having to fight a single Marlboro, that the Marlboro cards themselves transfer into Marlboro tentacles at a rate of 4 to 1. So obviously, you're just going to require 24 Marlboro cards, and then you'll be able to use those to... Uh, you'll be able to use card mod to get those into the six Marlboro tentacles required. Uh, I don't quite have enough, but as you can see, I already have uh, several Marlboro tentacles, so I don't need to worry about that. But just in case you don't have enough cards and you don't have enough Marlboro tentacles, then I'll show you how you can defeat the Marlboros. They're actually quite simple, so long as you're prepared. Now, before we try and take on a Marlboro, we need to be prepared. Are they going to make mincemeat out of us with their bad breath ability? An ability that literally does every status ailment in the game across the entire party. So, we need to guard against all the debilitating negative status effects, or we're not going to stand a chance. So, what I've done, I've I've set Squall up as my main restorer so that he can restore the other party members of the status effects they get hit with. And what I've done is junction the following to his status defense. Berserk, Pain, Sleep and Confuse. If you don't have Pain then Blind will suffice. So as long as you guard against Berserk, Blind, Sleep and Confuse then you'll be able to keep control of that one character even though they'll still be afflicted with other ailments such as Poison and uh, Petrify I believe. Right then, now, on top of that, make sure your other party members guard against Confuse at least, so that they don't attack one another. And then the main healer can then go ahead and restore them. If you don't want to use Remedies, uh, you can use Siren's Treatment Ability. Just make sure, if like me, you're using Remedies, that you have the item ability equipped. Right, the other thing that we need to do is decide whether we want to kill Marlboros. They tend to provide more Marlboro tentacles if we do that, or mug them. I'm actually going to choose the latter, because it's much easier to mug and then escape than it is to kill them outright, especially if, like me, you're going for a low-level game and don't want to have to waste time carding. So, for that reason, because I'm going the mug avenue, uh, I'm going to make sure that Bio is junction to the elemental of attack of my mugger and that means that we won't do any damage when we mug each attempt because we're going to heal mob but instead preventing any experience gains. Once you've done that, you'll want to make sure you're at a location where mob actually spawn and there are two that are noteworthy. The first is outside of Chocobo Sanctuary and you can just run around in the forest out there and encounter them rarely. The second location is here and they're also a rare enemy. But we can actually force spawn them if we stand between the train station and the Great Salt Lake in this location. Then save our game. They're a guaranteed spawn if we reload. So long as we actually encounter an enemy in between these two locations. If we move over here, there's a good chance they won't appear. But if we stay here, then I've tested this and they appear every single time. So let's go ahead and see if we can handle some of these Marlboros. Oh, by golly, even when you're prepared, they can be a right nuisance. If you want, you can use the battle enhancement technique, of course. I'm going to try without. At least then, if I succeed, you guys will know you'll be able to do it as well. There's the guaranteed spawn. So, we're not going to do anything until Bad Breath has been cast, which is always cast at the start. And then we'll start by casting remedies onto our party members. There it goes. So first of all, Squall will remedy Selfie. And then hopefully Selfie will cast Treatment onto Zell. Which is kind of unnecessary. Since I just need her to mug now before we escape. But just bear in mind uh, that there's a good chance he'll cast Bad Breath again if you remove all status ailments. Right, we've got our Marlboro Tentacles, so let's get out of here. Now, if you're doing this where I'm doing this, you can go ahead and force the Rare Spawn again by saving your game and reloading in exactly the same way that we did before. Uh, eventually, just repeat this process and you'll have all six. Now, by this point you should have six steel pipes, six remedy plus, 
and at least six more potenticals. Yeah, I might have gone a little bit overboard. I think that would be sufficient. As long as you've got six, though, you're sorted. And once you've got all 18 of those ingredients, you absolutely have everything you need to get Doom Train, except for one particular item, which is very easy to get, but doesn't become available until later. So keep those handy in your inventory. Don't use them. And then when the time comes, I will explain to you how you can actually get that GF added into your collection. But anyway, folks, I hope this little tutorial has been helpful to you. If it has, please don't forget to drop a like. That really does support the channel. It means a lot to me. And it's good to know that you guys are enjoying the content. So, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy VIII. Goodbye. Sounds like you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs>